Hi guys, and welcome to a TechIt server tutorial, how to set up your own server for uh, TechIt using Windows 7, and also how to uh, port forward on the router. So the first thing you're going to need is go to the TechIt website, it's part of the Technic Pack, and you're going to have to go to download the launcher if you don't already have it, and you sign in using your regular Minecraft account. Then you're going to have to download the the server uh, 3.1.2. So you download that, I already have it saved. So you download that. Once you have that open, and you need a WinRAR to open it or anything to unzip it really. Once you have that opened, you're just going to minimize this window. You're going to create a new fol folder name it, tech it server, or whatever you want to do. You're going to copy everything inside this uh, folder you just downloaded and put it in there. And it's going to take a little bit. And then you can just exit out of that downloaded folder. And you can exit out of that. And then you're going to open up the folder. You're going to hit launch. The launch.bat file, it's a pretty much your server file. It takes a bit. Um, if you see right here, it's just loading and everything, and then you get all the files into that folder. Um, all the good stuff. If you ever played or made your own Minecraft server, um, it's pretty much all the same stuff in there, except for just tons more mods. And it's just creating the world, if you see it on the left. And then once you get done, you're pretty much all set. You just type in stop. Save your chunks, stop the server, give it a sec. And then press any key to continue and it will automatically close. Keep this window open, and then you're gonna have to go to the right down here in the search. It also works as a run command. You're gonna have to go into um, CMD for your command executable file. Um, once you get into this thing, you're going to type in IP config and it's going to pull up everything right here and once you have this open you're going to have to go into your server properties which is right here and you're going to open this. It should open up as a notepad file. And this is pretty much all your server main things. Um, pretty much everything. You want monsters to spawn. The server IP is what you actually need. And you're going to type in your IPv4 address, which is the, for me, it's the 192.168.2.9. So we're going to type that in right there. 19 2.168.2.9 it could be different for you it's pretty much just your if you have a router um, if you don't have a router you'll have to go to uh, most people use IP chicken and it gives you your IP address and you can use that if you just have it straight from the uh, modem that's the address that people are actually going to connect to your server with, right there. Um, but you don't need to type it in here. You just need to type that. So once you have that, you're going to hit save. And this is the message of the day. MOTD. Um, you can just type in it. It's what appears after someone types in this address. Um, and they find your server. You can type something underneath it, like brown box server. Um, you can change the view distance, max players, <coughs> generate structures, spawn monsters, spawn animals, whitelist is gets a little bit more complicated. You can put already named players on your whitelist so only certain people can join. And then yep, you're just gonna save that. Exit. And then keep that open. You're gonna go to this again, 
and you're going to see this address the default gateway. Mine's 192.168.2.1. So this is going to bring you to your router menu, which you're going to have to go to. Mine's a Belkin, so it's a little bit different. So you're going to have to go to virtual servers. Some of them are port forwarding, stuff like that. You're going to type in your password. Um, and then this is pretty much what it already is. Um, it has Libby Tech it, but we'll Brownwood box. So this is on 192.168.2.9. The port forwarding is 25565, 255652565. Is also the private port. I don't know why. I don't know. I just put it as all, just because Belkin gets confusing. If you don't put one down, it won't let you continue. So you're gonna do apply changes. Usually it takes a little bit. It takes around 10 seconds, I think. Three seconds, I guess. If you open up the server properties again, you'll actually see the um, the server port. If you need that as a reference. So now you have all that saved. This is saved, so you can exit out of that. You're going to keep the IP chicken page still open because that's where you're going to connect with. And then you're going to go to this. Everything should be set up. You're going to launch it. You can exit out of this. You can uh, exit out of your command prompt. Your server is fully loaded. And you can minimize this. There's your Tekka server file right here. Now you just go ahead and launch it. You log in as your regular Minecraft character. takes a bit. Still loading. You have a multiplayer. Brownwood box servers. You remember where I typed that in? You can just double click on that. Log in. Ah. And now you're here. In the room. Uh, that was the right point. I think that just came up. you get set up and you can have other people type in that IP address and um, join you.